Hey, y'all. Um, something, um, penetrated my heart and my mind when, um, I heard Fire Charger talking about um, having a relationship with Jesus and, um, things like that. <coughs> okay. I started out <laughs> uh, thinking about uh, how to have a relationship with Jesus. How to, you know, you hear it, and this is mainly for all the YouTubers who don't have a relationship with Jesus, haven't asked Jesus into their car, you know, things like that. Um, came across my mind that we needed to break this down for you guys, um, just in case, you know, you're going, well, I don't know what to do, you know, um, because I believe somebody has asked me in the past, okay, well, how do I get ready? You know, we were saying, get ready, get ready, get ready, Jesus is coming back, but what are we, you know, how are we preparing you for that? How are we, you know, what are we doing? Okay. Um, the one way that I personally um, encountered this was the way I was feeling. First of all, um, I want to pose a question you guys, and I do this with love and respect, and uh, I need you to ask yourselves, we need you to ask yourselves, I know that these people will stand behind me on this, what brought you to the place that you are now? You know, what feeling, what emotion, what thought, what action. You know, everybody is in a place of either disbelief um, or just plain, you know, unknowledgeable of Jesus. And from what I know, um, a lot of people here in the U.S. know, have a, have a measure of what they know about the Lord. Somebody has either been a Christian that's been around them, um, somebody who, you know, took you to church one time, um, you know, things like that. I understand, let me first of all, let me say, and just know that I'm going out on a limb here when I say this. <laughs> this is very, um, but I believe organized religion isn't good for you. Okay, now I'm a Bible-believing, Holy Ghost-filled Christian. Okay, but the word church is scary, it's threatening, it's touchy. Okay, so this is why I write notes y'all because I get off track. See, I'm getting off track right now. Um, unless I'm pregnant, so woohoo. Um, something brought you to this place that you're at. And the only thing that we are trying to do, y'all, is to bring a firm hand bring wisdom, bring knowledge, and bring love, most of all, to you, and friendship, to you, okay, me personally, okay, I knew about God, okay, my parents got divorced when I was eight, I was going to old school Catholic, now, I, there's nothing wrong with Catholic Church, I'm just saying that I was going to old school Catholic. I didn't know what I was doing. I was only eight years old. 
I just knew that God existed, and I believed. I was a child that had childlike faith, so I believed that God existed. Okay? Um, so, we all have that. We all have that measure of faith that God has put in us. It's just we're fighting our flesh to stop believing the lies that the enemy has put out there for us. There is a real enemy out there. Um, he does exist. Um, and he is fighting you every step of the way. But I'm claiming in Jesus' name that you're going to be free from this. Pray from this bondage that he has got you in because he doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to be free. He doesn't want you to be delivered. He doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to have a great relationship with your boyfriend or a great relationship with your husband. He doesn't want you to have that because he hates you. And this is why you've been tormented all your life. And this is why I was tormented all my life. This is why I didn't know anything about God until I met my husband, Dave Cunningham, my ex-husband, Dave Cunningham. I was going to say first husband, and I thought, well, that sounds stupid. But anyway, look, I'm just breaking it down. I'm getting real with you guys. I want you to see this from a real level, from a real person who has been through it all. Okay? And I'm going to bring up those points here in the next video. I'm going to make one straight after this. Because i got a lot of stuff to talk about. And you guys need to hear this. You need to be open, and you need to hear this. So I will be back, and I love you, and God's will be done in your life. And most of all, Jesus loves you.